channel. Today we're going to be doing a spring try-on haul and this is the very first spring try-on haul that I've done on my channel. So I'm really, really excited. Today I'm going to be showing you all items from ASOS as well as Zara and maybe one or two things from Shein like this top that I'm currently wearing. If you're excited about this haul, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also follow me on Instagram so that you all can see so many more of my fashion inspiration posts. And yeah guys, let's just get right into it. So first off, starting with this top, I get a ton of feedback regarding the tops that I've been wearing in my recent videos and a lot of them have come from Shein. This one in particular is from Shein. I got it in a size large. It has these nice lantern sleeves. It's a peplum style top and it is in satin material. I love the blush color. It looks so feminine and perfect for the springtime. So just getting up a little closer, you all can kind of see the detailing. It does have this ruching effect in the center. It is a button front top and it does stop right at the navel and I really, really love it. It's nice and flowy at the bottom and it pairs really nicely with jeans. So I'm gonna show you guys the full outfit. The jeans that I'm wearing are from Zara. I can't remember the name of these, but I'll try to link them down in the description box. It does have some distressing on the hip area, only a tiny bit. So if you wanted to wear jeans like these to work, you could still do so and they not be too much. You won't be too exposed with these. And that's what I love about them. They're also ankle style jeans and I really like those a great deal because they pair nicely with heels but I hope you guys enjoy the first outfit let's move on to the next one all right guys this next top is gorgeous it is also from Shein this is a nice cropped ruffle one shoulder top and it has a ruffle design here I generally go for a size large but I've been losing weight and so I got a size medium in this one I actually ordered another one shoulder top in a different design and I got it in size large and now it's too big for me so I decided to go down a size but this one is so gorgeous perfect for a day event and you could wear it with high-waisted pants if you don't desire to show any of your midsection but I think it would look good with jeans I would generally wear something like this with high-waisted pants but just to give you guys some different outfit ideas I have on the same jeans that I had on earlier which are from Zara but this is a really nice spring look I feel like the design is kind of washed out a bit but yeah, there we go. So this is what the paisley print looks like. It has gold accents and there is some yellow tones, some light blue tones. Again, appropriate for spring. And it's just so darling. It looks really good. It also comes with a wrap tie that you can tie in the front or choose to just tie it in the back so that it's not necessarily seen. But I decided to bring it forward. And you could do a little bow tie if you want it, but... I like it like this. So this is the full outfit, guys. This is a really cool spring outfit that would be great for a brunch, also maybe a girls' night out, or even a date night, this would work. It's so casual and chic, and it's really comfortable. So I like this top with these particular pants, but again, you can dress it up, dress it down, put on some high-waisted trousers, and you'll be good to go. This next outfit is one of my favorites. It's this really beautiful hot pink blazer dress and I feel like the lighting is not doing it justice but the color is so so beautiful and I love the shoulder detailing now one thing that I wish was different is the belting I love that it has a belt but this one doesn't have the metal hardware that causes you to be able to adjust it and keep it secure where you want it so then your waist is really cinched in so I feel like I'm probably gonna have to actually just loop it around so that it stays in place but I don't know if that messes with the integrity of how the belt looked, but this dress is also a really good length. It stops just before my knees. It gives a really nice, this dress is also a really good length. It comes just before the knees. It has a really classy, sophisticated look to it that I am such a fan of. I actually purchased this dress in two different sizes. I got a size 10 as well as a size 12 because I wasn't certain as to which size would work for me, but the 10 works just perfect. It's not too tight on my hips or anything. It just fits perfect. And I would pair this blazer dress with these dupe Bottega Veneta mules. They are in the color camel. Come on. This is what they look like, and they have a really nice heel. These aren't too high for me. I've shared with you guys in other videos that high heels really hurt my feet, so these are gonna be perfect. They have a square design in the front, which I love, and it's really on trend right now. So 
I would pair these with this dress. I'm gonna show you guys the full look. Pair of jeans, a shirt or two We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back It doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like and if those shoes aren't your taste Then these Zara heels would be a nice pair with this particular blazer dress I feel like these just add a really nice pop and they really create interest in the look. Now my husband wasn't necessarily a fan of the first ones, but these are so, so cute. I think they go well with almost anything. Leopard is just such, for me, I feel like that's kind of like a neutral. Let me know your thoughts. The world is waiting up. The world is waiting half a step beyond our door. It's not enough. I wanna see the stuff the world has got in store. Oh. Alright, y'all, this is the next outfit. I like this one a great deal. So I paired these camel faux leather pants from Zara with this racer style tank top. This is from their Limitless Contour collection and it is stretchy. I did get the size medium large and I really like how it fits. It's nice and snug. Now if you want it to actually cover more of your midriff you could just pull it down a bit and be sure to wear high-waisted pants but these work perfectly. It does have a crop appeal to it but you could just pull it down and tuck it in if you don't want to show any of your midriff. These pants come up high enough and I like that these have a bit of pleating at the top. These do have pockets. I actually was the dress that I showed you guys a minute ago, hat pockets, because I love dresses and pants with pockets. I think that's just so cute. And that dress, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but that was from ASOS. This entire outfit that I'm showing you all now is from Zara, the top, bottom, and the shoes. I just paired it with the leopard print shoes that I just showed you guys previously, and I feel like it just brings the whole look together, and it looks so, so nice. All right, so this is the next outfit, guys. The last outfit was good for the daytime or the nighttime, but this one is a really nice fashionable statement for the daytime. Many of the outfits that are coming are going to be dresses. I love dresses for the springtime and this one is giving you all some daytime inspiration. This dress has an A-line structure which I love which gives it that classic appeal. It does have underlining and this one is a nice lace design but I really like this style of lace because it's really stiff and it's a really great quality and the lace design is consistent throughout. The top of the dress has this really nice cream color and then it transitions to this really beautiful pink and then into this orange color. And this dress would actually be appropriate for not only the springtime but also the summer. And the cutouts along the side just really help to add interest to the dress. And this is actually taking me out of my comfort zone a bit because I generally don't show my sides too much but I feel like they were tastefully done so they still work with my style and the heels that I pair with this dress are these nice camel and clear heels and these are from Azalea Wang. These are a mule design and they aren't too high which I'm all about. <laughs> This dress does fit true in size. I got it in a size 10 and it fits me very well. This one is also from ASOS. I wanna take it on and I'm falling. The cityscape by night. Wanna catch in my photos. Where you go? Every corner twice as bright. There'll be my treasures forever. When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights. The Stockholm lights. The Stockholm lights. dress I'm not 100% sold on. I don't really like the fit around my thighs. It's very very snug. On the website it looked like it flowed out a little more but it's just it's it's too tight. It's gripping my hips but I am still losing weight so perhaps by the summertime this will fit perfectly. It's a bandeau style floral dress and I love the color of it. I love the style of this dress. I feel like it looks so chic and it also looks very feminine but yeah the fit of it right now just doesn't work. I love how flowy it is at the bottom as well. It has like a maxi style feel to it. The fabric is also really comfortable. It has sort of a spandex feel to it. It's really, really nice. I love that it's strapless. You could probably wear this in the springtime just to feel more comfortable with a denim jacket. Now, I don't own any denim jackets, which is kind of a shame. I need to get some. I was thinking about that last night, how I don't have a denim jacket. Like, who doesn't? What woman doesn't have a denim jacket? Me, obviously. But 
yeah, this will be great. I'm going to get a denim jacket to go along with it. And I feel like it'll be more of my taste and make me feel a little more comfortable. It is kind of loose in the midsection, but the hips, yeah, it's just, it's hugging really tight. <laughs> and what I really liked about this dress was the price. It was on sale for only $18. And I actually got it in two sizes. I got it in a size eight and I also got a size 12 because I wasn't sure which one would work for me. And those were the only two sizes they actually had available. The eight fits me fairly well, but hips, we're gonna work on that. The 12 was humongous. So I'd say if you're gonna get this one, it does fit true to size. A size 10 is generally the size that I go for, but that wasn't available. 10 probably would work better, but I don't know how the midsection would have been. Who knows? And then also the bust. The bust fit perfect. So, yeah, this is one of those dresses that you're going to have to maybe try two of and then decide which one works for you. And the cool thing about ASOS is that you can return it and they don't charge you. So that's pretty awesome. Guys, this is the next dress. And wow. It is so stunning. I love this dress. I love the structure of it. A lot of my tops have this structure. You all always comment on that. But when I saw this dress on ASOS, I had to have it. It's so me. Now, I do wish that it was a little longer, but my hands are able to come down by my side. So it's fine. <laughs> and I like that it has a button front design. These shoulders are also really, really cool on this particular dress because you can wear it with the shoulders covered or you can wear it off the shoulder and it would look like this. How cute is that? And to keep the shoulders up, it does come with this silicone material that helps to keep it from slipping, which is pretty awesome. So I'd most likely be wearing it like this, but who knows? I might also want to wear it off the shoulder as well, but I really, really like this design. And you guys can probably see a, a pattern. Many of my clothes look similar to this. I like that this one has the button front design and it has some boning on the inside as well. This is a really, really good quality dress. It's structured so nicely. I like how it cinches in and then flares out at the bottom. It has a really nice baby doll feel to it, which looks very feminine and flirty this is perfect for a date night you can wear it with boots you could wear it with some slip-on heels like the ones that I'm currently wearing there's just so many options and it is a leopard print design so pretty now I did get this dress in a size 10 and 8 probably would have fit perfectly especially with my weight loss but the 10 works and if I do need to get it tailored that would be an easy fix and the length would stay the same because I do want to keep the length. I don't want to have it too short, but this is just right for my style. Last but not least, we have this gorgeous suit from Zara. I love Zara. I get so much of my stuff from them. This is an oversized blazer with a matching pair of hot pink trousers. This look is so, so gorgeous and it's so me. I love, love, love suits. And this structure is a little different from what I'm accustomed to because this blazer is not one that's as tailored as I'd like. I usually like my blazers to sculpt my body a little more in the midsection. This one does not have that contour effect. So if that's what you're looking for, this is not the blazer for you. Oversized blazers are on trend and I wanted to try something different. So I decided to go for this one and it was kind of pricey. I believe it was like $89. And if you're going to get this one, I would recommend that you size down because it is quite big unless you want a really big look. But that's not necessarily the look that I was going for. And I feel like this one fits perfectly. If I were to button it, it's not going to be too snug on my backside. It would fit perfectly. And these pants, y'all, they are long. If you do not want to wear heels with these, I wouldn't recommend getting these unless you're going to get them tailored. Of course, they are high waisted and I love that about them. They also came with pockets. So that makes me happy. And this particular suit, although it didn't come together, these did come as separates, but they are a matching pair. And you could actually just get the pants if you want. What I love about two piece suits like this, although it didn't come together, is that you can wear them multiple ways. So if I didn't wanna wear the blazer with it, I could just wear it with this top. And this is a look 
by itself. It's a vibe. And this top is one that you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. I wore it with some trousers that were also from Zara, my favorite store. And they were in the color camel, but I also wanted to get some pants that were very similar to those because they fit me so, so nicely. I really like the structure a great deal. These are very flattering. And I feel like I found the structure of pants that looks so good on me. This top is from Shein, and it's this one shoulder top. It has a sweetheart neckline, well, partial sweetheart neckline, and I just love it. And I like the material a great deal. This would be a really nice date night outfit or just nighttime outfit in general. So this one is kind of casual and chic and just perfect for the workplace with the blazer and without, you can easily transition to an evening outing. So it's just perfect. Now, one thing I will say about this top is that you should size down. I got it in a size large and it is quite large. I need to get it in a size medium. I think I'm gonna order it again. I'll just keep it in the size large in case I gain weight, which I hope I don't. As you can see here, I have a lot of extra space. It's kind of, it's really loose actually. It's not kinda, it's really loose in this area. So we don't want that falling down because that could easily happen because it's too big on me. But a medium would fit me perfectly. I believe I've talked about this necklace in a previous video, but I get tons of questions on this necklace. It's an Africa pendant with a cross in the center. I'll leave the link for this down below as well in case you guys are interested. It is my go-to. I wear this necklace with everything and I've had it for probably about two years. It's really affordable and it has not tarnished at all. It's very good quality. So I'll leave that for you all as well. All right, y'all, that's the end of this video. I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed it. If so, leave a comment down in the comment section. Also like this video because it tells YouTube that you guys like videos like this as well as me so that I can keep doing this. So be sure to do that. Share it with your friend. Like this video. Comment down below. All the links for everything that I showcase in this video will be provided in the description box so you all be sure to check down there. I look forward to hearing your comments and feedback. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. Remember, comment, like, subscribe, and you all stay safe out there with this corona going around. Blessings to you guys. Love y'all. Bye.